Hi there and welcome back. So <clears throat> today is going to be, um, well for me, um, an easy um, relaxing uh, one. I'm not going to uh, say the day and stuff because um, I'm kind of filming this in front of when I need it but um, I've not filmed all day and I feel like filming but I don't want to do anything too too complicated so i'm getting ready um to start the next um <coughs> blue journal which is going to be the kit from uh nanine and it goes with the january planner kit um i forget what it's called so and then I'm doing another blue journal after that. And I do blue quite regular. So I thought it'd be nice to get some um, embellishments. And what I did was, because um, my head wasn't working and I couldn't think, um, I looked back at my own playlist and um, looked at, I've got a playlist called Embellishments. And, <coughs> sorry. Um, I picked some of my... <coughs> Okay, some of my favourite embellishments from embellishments that I've already made. Um, so, I don't know um, if there's a proper word for these, but I call these my uh, ticket, mini ticket and tag embellishments. So, all it is, is matching uh, a mini tag with uh, a ticket. Oh, oh dear. Just had a craft of lunch. Let me just pick them up. Oh, I need that. Okay. Let's try that. And I find that these come in very, very handy. Um, they can be used as, as little tucks, but normally um, I use them as, as page embellishments or you can add them on, you know, onto something something else. Um, and I do find clusters and snippety, snippety <laughs> things very handy um, for when you're doing your embellishing. And I don't know about you, but um, if I'm at the stage of embellishing a journal, I don't wanna be stopping and starting and, you know, just making things um, I like a lot of it uh, done ahead and I know sometimes that's difficult because everything doesn't go with everything and, and all the rest of it um, but I think if you do them either pretty neutral or pretty random <laughs> neutral or random um, <clears throat> they, you know they will go all these bits are from all different kits uh, some of the tickets are the Tim Holtz uh, tickets, what the lovely Helena sent me. Thank you very much, Helena. It's my second uh, time of, of using them. And um, <coughs> I think all the tags are from uh, various kits from Nanine at Collage Type, but they're all from different uh, kits. But they've obviously, you know, we in the same kind of browns different um shades of blue and we've even got some some white so i just layer them up and then <coughs> i just match them uh, with a focal point so i'm going to get them all nearer to me and see what goes on what um i've obviously rooted through everywhere and got everything out beforehand because um it was a lot of rooting uh about um and i just wanted to to get some embellishments made up i oh, quite like that one on there yeah that's nice nope I need a flower on that one. Where's that other plain one? Hmm. Do I want a bird on that? No, I think I want a bird on the florals. I've got a small one. Maybe that stamp. 
So we've got a butterfly. We can put the stamp on that one. And the butterfly on that one. I think I preferred it the other way. Okay, okay. And oh, that doesn't go with that, does it? Oh no! Quite happy with those. Maybe flower on that one. Maybe that flower. Oh yeah, I like that. That flower on that one. <coughs> butterfly on that one and that on that one so I'll just stick those down and we've got ourselves how many little clusters two four six seven what an odd number <laughs> I think I just went through it and like got all the little tags out and then just matched everything um with those If you are then going to use them as tucks, you're probably best to <clears throat> put these on top of something and then cut cut round it just to make them a, a little bit more stable. Or if not, go at the back and make sure everything's uh, glued glued on. Whereas if I'm sticking it straight down, it doesn't it doesn't so much matter. So that's those. Okay, so we've got some ticket clusters. So pop those there. What have we got next? Oh, these bu bigger book plates. <coughs> um, I think I find them quite hard to to use. A lot of the times I just shrink shrink them down, but um, sometimes you know they're with with something something else. So I'm just going to make a kind of uh, cluster over the top. I think with these I was going to get some some paper out and just do a little bit of collage at the back as well. I think that was my idea. Uh, but yeah, I sat one night and I actually wrote in in the planner. Um, <coughs> embellishments I had a quick look on my playlist like I say and and wrote them down and then one day when I was a bit tired and I hadn't really got the energy to craft um, I just emptied all my bits and bobs out and, and sorted sorted through them and just put them in these little packets uh, ready ready to do when when I'd got the time so here I am Right, I'm going to pause for a minute and get some papers out. Okay, so I've got these book plates. I've just inked everything and I just found some little butterflies out. And then I've got this lovely, um, I think they call them Spellbinders uh, dies. Um, I bought them from eBay. Um, absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to take take those apart so I can use two just gonna see if I can do all these flowers down a bit they're a bit a bit bright for for me but yeah beautiful little birds I think I got about 10 of them and there was only a couple of pound Um, I bought them probably last summer and never never used them I tend to have things for about a year before not like I'm hoarding them just like I'm just not ready for them kind of thing. So I've got a few sheets left from um, the planner kit. So I'm just going to rip a few down. Use some neutral as well. We don't want a, a blue, blue overload. Take 
let's um so let's um match match them up first um what's going on on where so that's probably the biggest so oh look at that <laughs> that's super sweet um I like that on there. Um, let's do that one because that's a, a double one. In fact, that might have to go on on there. Let's um, swap that over. Put that on there. Yeah. Then we've got one more. I like that. One butterfly there. Got these. I think I was going to put two on one maybe on that one and then we'll have one on there so that's not so I think they look nice <coughs> nice on the right to be honest right let's um let's see what we can we can do just simple nothing you know just a bit of bit of interest Yeah, she'll probably put some um, labels on them. And I'll probably put some labels on the ticket ones as well. So if I do these and check the time, and then if it's, if it's gone quite fast, I'll just do the labels. If not, um, we'll, we'll make some something else and then do all the labels. I'm hoping, because I've found everything, um, that I'll be able to, you know, make quite quite a few different ones. Because they're not all of my ideas in, in there. But um, I got fed up of searching for stuff. So I thought, well, I'll get those done first and then search for the rest of the stuff uh, once I've cleared this basket. lovely so again these can be used as clusters as tucks can go on the front of a pocket can go on the front of a tag and um, whatever whatever you want let's um, use some of this blue up a little bit of a frame thinking what labels to put on I don't know if to put like numbers on or like scientific -y ones I might go for numbers with it <laughs> um, you know not being a botanical journal it's like birds and, and florals Way are we up in? Yeah, to that side. I'll do it there actually because then I've got room room to put a label. Not really got a lot of words. I'm a bit fussy uh, about words. I must write down words that I like and ask Nanine to, to do a kit. Um, well, a, down, a download because I am really fussy about words. I like breathe. <clears throat> I like, you know, all the botanical words. But um, things like uh, love and stuff, I'm, I'm just not into. Or cherish and, and things. So... I tend not to buy um, downloads of <coughs> words. 
finally got a couple and they're like botanical words i think i bought one with some like short sayings on <laughs> and they only use half of them i don't even bother uh cutting the rest out now because i know that i won't use them but then you always feel like you're using the same word well, sometimes you're not not in the mood are you for the same word um, using the same paper obviously gives you that cohesive look even though they probably you know well they're not all going to go on in one journal but um yeah more than likely you know there'll be a couple of things um in the same one so i think it just gives that that nice look but i suppose it depends if you like uh, that cohesive look on say some people like you know really random some people like cohesive what's that let's do this little birdie I love this blue it's got some, some brown in it Should we have hanging off? I think we'll have his head hanging because I think those flowers are more delicate than than his head. I wonder if to do it with the blue and blue. What about the lighter blue? That's really a lot now. Surrounded by bits of paper. And so, um, <laughs> Carol bought me the lovely basket to throw me um, scraps in. And I tend to use the basket for like gathering stuff. I find it very handy. Uh, for that, I just uh, seem to surround myself in in bits of paper. <laughs> it, it's okay until it's not okay. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness, my desk's full. Yeah, that's lovely. Because obviously you've got the background of the. Uh, book plate you can do these with with die cuts if you've got you know those book plate die cuts of all different hexagons and things like that circles yeah I like that lovely and this one I'm I'm actually thinking I might just leave that like that you know I really <laughs> like that but I might do it just no I want it centre I was gonna say I might do it just up to get a word in but um I do like it right in the centre <laughs> oops a bit gluey good job it dries um thingy right let's have a look at this I don't think I want to cover too much of that up either. Might just um a bit of brown down here. And here. Yeah, I'm gonna have it in there. Just in that. And that's them it's done. Yeah, I'll have time for for another packet. Let's see what we've got in the next one. Okay, and that's the last one. So we've got those. So the next one are clusters, and these are ones that I did on um, a big um, book page, and I did them all on there. So I'm just going to rip um, the white of the book page off. I don't mind some on there because I can uh, ink it. Well, obviously I do mind. <laughs> so I'm just going to rip round these. Um, I found some more after I'd uh, got the embellishments for it. So 
I might have to have a route round and, and find some more embellishments. So these was like the scraps that I was left with from um, a project from last year. Um, what I just wanted to get rid of all the papers. I'm going to start doing that when I finish projects, getting them stuck stuck down because it saves them being in tubs, and I keep them on the sheet until um, I'm ready to to use them. And I just hang hang them up on a hook, just put a hole in them and hang them up. And um, yeah, then they, I remember that they're there and I tend to then use them. So if I'd have done them on, uh, you know, nice, oh, nicer book page, I obviously wouldn't have had to rip, rip round them so much. But um, yeah, I was just trying to use those book pages or you know what are your index pages which in botanical books you get absolutely pages of them um especially if you know you get like the latin uh botanical name and you know you get a whole index for for that so i mean no exaggeration sometimes nearly a quarter of the book can be those kinds of uh pages uh so I find I use those up and use the nicer book pages up in the actual uh, collage. This is just a, you know, something to to stick it stick it onto. So I didn't realise I'd done so many uh, blue ones, but I do really find clusters handy uh, to have. And I think doing them all different kinds of shapes and stuff, um, you know, you can just find find the right one uh, for your for your project. And again, these can be stuck on pockets. They can be um, put onto tags as your you know middle kind of decoration. I could, um, you know, really rip this down. And then use that as a as a tuck, because uh, obviously you know it's backed, it's more stronger. Or just page page decoration. I think for those pages where you've not got pockets and and things, uh, they just you know the right right amount of embellishment. They they are very handy. And it's surprising how many you can use. And I'm going to be using lots of them, aren't I? <laughs> By the looks of it. Right, so that's all those uh, done. Let's have a count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, so I obviously found another 4, and the pieces that I've decided to use um, with them are, again, those, um, I mean, these are like book plates uh, from the name, but they've got, um, you know, a visual element on, but um you do tend to get a lot of circle elements and things um, in kits. Uh, so I thought this would be a good way to to use use those up. Because I find, you know, I don't I don't really know what to do with them. Um I mean some kits you, you can get, you know, a whole page or or two. So I'm just gonna Ink. I think I've inked them all apart from where the where the white is. What's that? Oh, that's just ink. No, that's a bit that that I ripped. That one's fine apart from that bit. Just ink that one. I've done some. 
so I don't know if I've got any more of these pieces I think I might have took took all those out so we can can put something else on yeah I thought it would be be a good use for them so not only have I used you know the plain big ones I'm also using the pattern well not pattern and then this is you know one of those ephemera pieces that is beautiful uh, but not that I'm at a loss of where to use it. Sometimes things just get buried and they don't don't get used kind of thing. And I think that would look nice across the um, front of an envelope or front of a pocket. Right, that's all those inked. So, um, so we need another four visuals, don't I? But what I'll do is I'll stick those down first and then I can see what kind of shape I'm looking for. Now obviously I'm not adding any more papers to these. Uh, there's, there's enough on them. That one's fine. That one's fine. I had a dream last night and it unsettled me a bit i've been a bit unsettled all, all day and it was a silly dream um which i'm not gonna go in into but yeah it's just really unsettled me all day um it's a scary dream or anything it was just one of them oh i like that that's gonna go on there it was just kind of you know a, a day-to-day scenario um but I was in like a position where I wouldn't put myself in and um acted in in a way that I wouldn't um and yeah it's just it's made me feel a bit bad all day and I've had to keep telling myself like it, it, you know it was just a, a dream because um, I keep feeling awful um not felt like that for a long time. I mean, normally, you know, if I've had a funny dream, I just think, oh, and you know, I, I totally forget about it. But yeah, this is like stayed with me uh, all day. Oh, I like that on the side. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. that one right nope I think these might be too too big for it might need some <coughs> some smaller ones Let's look at that one if I can get it oh that's nice No, I think I preferred that one. And then these are very much like pockets. And again, you know, if it doesn't suit as I want to use it, you know, I can always rip rip down it and, and shape it um, <laughs> and make a right mess of it. But... Um, yeah, you know, you can always re reshape it. It doesn't have to stay um, the shape that it is. And, you know, I thought I could, I could add, which I'm going to actually add that. Um, you know, if you're wanting something a bit longer, there's nothing stopping you then just putting uh, some, something else at the back of it. These are only... Uh, a base. I mean, sometimes you're lucky enough that yeah, it just it just fits and just looks right where you want it. But then other times it's like, oh, wish it was shorter or longer. Um, and they can be can be changed, or it might not be be blue enough for where I want it. So I might want to put some more blue um, on there. Who knows? Right, I'm wondering if I can do that that way. And have that, yeah, like that, across there. I don't 
don't know why this glue's acting up. Mind you, it has been very cold. And it is the first time I've used it uh, today. But I had filled it, filled it up. Yeah, that's lovely. I'd look lovely across the front of a pocket. Right, what have we got left? This is a nice tall one. No, that one. I'm not going to put labels, <coughs> excuse me, on these because I don't think they need them. And I think if you put labels on everything and then you end up using, say, the same uh, piece, same few pieces um, on a page and they've all got labels on, it can be too labely. So, I mean, that would probably look better, um, a bit longer. But for now, it's fine. Right, we've only got this one piece left. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm going to put that on there. And then we'll find another four. They want to be quite small things, don't they? I'm wondering if and put some birds on them. Let me get me uh, birds because I've actually separated all my birds so it might be easy uh, to find something so along. Done some barking today. Same Ryan's on a on a late today. And um, yeah, it's done some right barking. Oh, I like that over that label. These are from Shoppy Lappy Doo Doll. <coughs> Colin. Oh, I like that on there as well. That's a shabby jabby doodah. You can probably probably tell. It's um, it's funny how people have um the different their own styles. Nope. It's gonna start barking at the window. Have some circles here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. I don't know how large you can hear it because it's pretty loud. I think I'll pause in a tick and I'll ink those and stick them down. And um, we'll come back and put some labels on. Thinking out it's in there, really. No. Ish. That was probably the best one. I oh, found another little tag there. I'm gonna say I searched high and low for for tags to do those mini mini ones. I don't know the red kind of puts me puts me off. Too small. Let me have a look somewhere else. There's me, big birds. So yeah, they're those um, dies. They're lovely if I don't squash them. But they was in an envelope and the longer they stay in an envelope, 
the more I won't use them. And even though they will get bashed and stuff, I will remember to, to use them. Yes, I like that. Right, I shall ink those then and get those glued down and then we'll come back and finish those. Okay, so that's the clusters done. So they can now go in with my embellishments. Okay, so I've got some labels out. These are more the scientific -y ones. So these are mainly Tracy Fox um, labels. Thinking for that one, I quite like that signature. Um, for that one, I might want something um, scientific. -y. So we'll just have a, obviously want tiny uh, ones. And as you can see, um, I've not cut, a lot of the tiny ones out because <laughs> this is so hard work cutting cutting them out i've got confirmed in fact yeah there's some little ones right at the bottom like approved so. Yeah, doing well to say I didn't want it. No, I don't want that one. Right, we'll, we'll pop those on. I'm going to have to ink, ink them. So that's half of them done. Need um, another tin or something to keep these um, embellishments in. Because like the little box that I've been putting them in, um, I've just put those clusters away, and I don't think anything else is going to fit fit in there. Might have to have a shuffle, shuffle around. You're just moving constantly, aren't you, in your craft room? You know, as you're moving things, <coughs> things along the pile of you know, brought stuff to save stuff to, you know, oh, I need to look at it for, for a while before I use it. Um, and then, you know, if you've got to fussy cut things out and gather things together and then they're in different pots and then you make them into something and then they go into something else and, and then, you know, you're doing a Pacific project so they go into... All your stuff you know what you're working on currently I like that and um, so yeah it's just a constant uh, move around so you've got places I find in your craft room at certain times that have hardly got anything in there yet your kind of working space is then really uh, full take it to heart I like that so these are some Tim Holtz words what I just put onto paper um i think i did it in the using up the tim holt scraps i just did it with the <laughs> with the leftover bits of scraps and i was saying that i never use the words because they're too small and again when i'm in the middle of making something i don't want to be faffing about um doing that kind of thing i like that so that's that one. Then I've got two birds. Oh, deep-rooted trees. That might be nice there. I like that. But yeah, I, I, this is the kind of words I like. Either like something quirky, like I do like the Tim Holtz words, or um, something more nature. Nature-y. I keep thinking I might look at some mindful... Um, words because they're quite appealing that's nice 
Right, just one for this one. Loving these. I'm looking forward to doing uh, botanicals and mixing those in with those. They was Tina's. Thinking of it earlier days. It's too big. You and me. There's only one of you though, because you're your mate so <laughs> there was you and me. Chance of a lifetime. <laughs> I don't believe in chances of a lifetime. I think you get many, many chances in the lifetime. It's all twisty, twisters, twists and turns. Good and bad. But without the bad, we wouldn't know what the good was, would we? That's, that's the way I always think. It's like I would... How would you, um, oh, I, don't, I don't know the word that I'm looking for. Like, how would you scale it, uh, you know? I mean, you could, if you hadn't had really bad, you could think dropping something on the floor was, was bad, but... And I think that's why probably children get very, um, especially teenagers, like, ah, it's catastrophe. Because they haven't had catastrophe. Well, you know, a lot of them haven't. Um, so, you know, if they can't find the hairspray, <laughs> that, that's a big, a big life issue. But, um, you know, and I've been there <laughs> myself. Um, I quite like that. Um, so, yeah, I think as you get older and, you know, not not only your own bad um, things, you know, you hear other people's um, misfortunes and things. Um, so I think it helps you put things into perspective. And same with, same with the God. Um I'll go back to, to Alan, eh? you know, because she's a teenager. Travelling companion, I like that. Um, I, I think, you know, when a lot of their life is good and it's about having things and going places and doing things and friendships and all the rest of it, they, they don't realise how good it is. Uh, it's only when you get older and you think, wow. You know, because you're never going to have that that kind of freedom and um, to be able to, you know, do what you want and, and have somebody else pay for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that goes. <laughs> yeah, I do. She looks shocked, you know, when I say it. Um, she's like, what, you're not going to pay for me forever? So, no, unfortunately not. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear they are funny I feel very very blessed to have um, you know had another child quite I mean I wasn't I was 36 but um, I'd had my other two at, at 20 and 21 so uh, massive be still and listen to the earth the earth is singing I think that's an Artemis Um what I was saying, well, I know what I was saying, but I forget what bit I was at. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I was 20, um, and I, I don't think you notice. Um, and there was two of them, and I was a single parent, so um, I think you know, life's too busy, I was too young to really uh, take that kind of uh, notice of those kinds of things. Um, Oh, you know, because there were such arguments in the house. I've been two two girls, only um, a year and a half in between them. Um, but you know, obviously life's quieter. With there's only Eleanor. Um, you know, I I don't want to go anywhere and do anything. Whereas you know, when I was young, um, I did. She was to remember, and um, yeah. So I think. With being more laid back and, and stuff, I can, I'm, I'm really enjoying um, 
watching Alna blossom um, and you know go through these different different stages and, and knowing that um, <coughs> you know they, they grow they grow out of it because um, I mean at times I mean she's not been that bad up to yet as a teenager but um, oh yeah at, at times you, you just think it's gonna go on and on forever um, it's a bit like toddler stage. Nothing is more beautiful than the loveliness of the woods before sunrise. I like that. But I'm going to put that on there. So yeah, I do feel <coughs> very blessed to to have um, you know been able to do it again with um, with um, with more mature eyes. <laughs> Can't see. <laughs> In the blindness, but no, I, I'm sure you know what, what I mean. I suppose it's the same. Well, I don't know. I think it's different with, with grandchildren. And, unless, um, you know, you have them a lot um, if parents are working and this, that and the other. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think you notice it so much with, with those. Right, I just want one more. I want something. Listen to the silence. It has much to say. No, I don't. I want something round, really. I'm going to have a look for uh, a number. We enjoyed those um, quotes. They got me, got me all sentimental, didn't they? It was nice. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's been one of those days today. I'm, <laughs> I've not felt poorly, but um, I've just felt quite tired and, and lethargic. Um, and, yeah, like all day I've just been faffing, doing nothing um, and couldn't really think what I wanted to do. And, um, I just wanted to do something, but um, yeah, not not have over complications. Um, because I'm at the part of the faded blue journals at this moment in time, um, with just the covers uh, left. So I've done a couple because there's ended up being four of them, um, and I've never done covers like that before, um. So yeah, I've had a mess about with those, ready for, you know, filming it, um, and I didn't feel ready, ready to film it. So that's, that's those done. I'm really chuffed uh, with, with what we've got done. Got loads of, of pretties. I'm saying, it, and it is surprising how you do, do pull them out and they do, do get used. So thank you very much for, for joining me. I really really enjoyed that um and yeah like i say i don't know uh when when this one will come up but i thought i might as well do it why i feel like it um and now i've got a bit more room in the basket so i can sort out uh, what embellishments uh, i still want to still want to make so i'm going i'm going to tidy my desk up and i think i'm going to have um, an early night. Um, I think Ryan's on a late, so I think me and Colin, the dog, um, I'm going to have that hot blanket on and, um, yeah, just be cosy. So, thanks for joining me. I shall see you again very shortly. Bye.